we've been working on this diverse project for a lot, quite a while now. We interview people who come here quite often. We wanted to make a film a bit like a talking brochure to tell people what we do out of class. Then from school in the 1950s, between 38 and 42 people used to be in the class. Boys would have done woodwork and gardening, whereas girls would have done sewing and knitting. They didn't have any computers, radios and other stuff. Teachers to use a blackboard and a chalk. If you're naughty, the chalk would be thrown at you. Um, uh, oh, okay, okay. If you were naughty, um, the teacher will um, make you write down. Um, I will not be naughty a hundred times. And if you were really naughty, you'll be used by the cave. A teacher at the end of the day would drop a pin to see if, they, if, you, if the class is quiet. If not, they can go ahead. If there was a war, a bedroom school would be, used, would be turned into a hospital. Game, you can get loads of animals on there. Hello and welcome to Whitwood Mill at Stuff Mills. There has been a mill here since 1269, over 700 years. The mill with the water well was called Whitwood Mill. It was used to mill corn and make and cut stone for paved, pavements. <coughs> when the mill stopped being used, it was used as a bandstand um, and tea rooms and boats for the river. And when the mill was still being used, um, for boys from 12 to 13 would leave school to help their father with tools. Kingfishers, but they never used to be there because the river was dirty and um, and there was no fish in the river. <sighs> he also saw falcons nesting as he made mill renovations. They also have badgers, foxes, deers, and birds. We took pictures of these to enter in the photography. This is a th this is the car park at Snuff Mill. It used to be a quarry, but sadly got flooded. Um, it surely got closed after this story. Sadly, at the earliest part of Snuff Mill, when two children were playing by the flooded quarry, one of them had drowned. The other boy had never told anybody. A, f a few weeks later, the body was found. The reason, the reason why he drowned, he had, he had most probably dived in and tried to get out. Also known as snuff mills because they used to make snuff here. Snuffy Jack used to be covered in a long white top, covered in snuff. People say that his ghost travels around this valley, but nobody's ever seen him. Over 50 years ago, something awful happened. Two children named June, age 7, and Royston, age 5, were found in the shallow grave on the other side of the river. Two weeks after, they went missing. More than 10,000 children, women and men searched the area. People thought that a man from um, the nearest hospital murdered the two boys, but there is no proof.
Yasmin, do you realize you're just on camera? What?